Welcome to this how-to video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up your 2020 Gen 3 monitor for side dress. Before starting this video, please make sure we review the video on how to change implements on the monitor because it's important that we save your previous implement and tractor configuration before switching to side dress mode. Once we're in side dress mode, first let's go to the setup button in the bottom right hand corner. Under the setup screen, we have our side dress bar set up here now on the screen. We're going to go to the side dress bar setup under equipment on the right to start setting up our system. For side dress mode, we first have our custom bar make, which is default. You have your number of knives or the number of rows that we have on here, the row spacing, which rows you'll be applying on, you have the controlled row spacing, which is the row spacing that will actually apply a GPA based off of. And then we also have SRM location assignment and end row width adjustment. Let's go into that a little deeper here. On our system, we should have SRMs across the side dress bar. For that, we need to press SRM location assignment, and we need to tell the system which rows have SRMs. In this case, I'm doing a row by row the Apply HD system, so we will use all. If you're using some other form, you will need to select which knives or which rows have SRMs installed on them. Bear in mind that if this is a Vapply HD Flex system, your Vapply HD Flex module also has an integrated SRM in the module. Press Enter when, you're, when you've completed this step. Next, we will go into end row width adjustment. This setting allows you to apply either half rate on the outside knives or rows, or one and a half on the outside knives or rows. In this case, we're going to keep it on normal to, standard, to, to apply the standard rate. Next, we'll need to go into add system here on the right to add our liquid system. Press liquid to add your liquid system. At this point, we'll need to press add product. This will add our liquid product, and we'll need to add a liquid product for each system on your planter. If you're applying two liquids, let's say, you'll need to add two products here. In this case, I'm only applying nitrogen on my side dress bar. Again, if you have multiple products you'll be applying on the side dress bar, add a secondary product. Now that we've added the product under our side dress bar, next we'll need to verify side dress bar measurements and tractor measurements. For the side dress bar measurements, you'll need to select the frame type and hitch style at the top, and use the diagram in front of you to reference the look and feel of what frame type and hitch style you'll need to select. Next, you'll be entering in the measurement from the hitch to the wheels on the side dress bar. That would be measurement A. Enter measurement A for the wheel distance. Next, we'll need to, we'll need to measure from the hitch location to the application point. This would be the actual output location of your liquid product. Enter that measurement into B. For tractor measurements, please reference the separate video regarding how to enter tractor measurements on your 2020 Gen 3 monitor. After we've completed side dress, side dress bar measurements and tractor measurements, let's go back to go to our main setup page. Now that we've completed the side dress bar setup, next we need to go to Systems tab to start the system setup. The Systems tab is located on the right. Under our Systems tab, we will need to set up the rate control rows as well as swath control style. In this case, we're going to set up rate control across the whole planter with all rows in the same rate section. 
For swath control, depending upon your GPS level of accuracy, you may need to either select single for single row control or dual ends which will merge the outer rows together. Next, let's go to the lift switch. The system will require a lift switch on your side dress bar. For a specific setup about lift switch, please refer to the lift switch setup video. Next, let's go to the PDM. Under your PDM, you will need to select what orientation the PDM is set to, both in the mounting ori orientation with decal up or down, along with which direction are the fuses directed towards. Finally, you'll need to zero your gyro so that you can have turn compensation on the side dress bar. Finally, on the right, you'll need to set up your liquid product. For specific setup to your liquid product, please refer to the videos on how to set up VApply HD, the VApply Rate Controller, and also FlowSense. Now that we've set up our liquid control system, we can now go to the home screen to verify the system is enabled. In this case, I've set up a VApply HD row by row system. Let's go to the home screen next. On your home screen, we should have a black control button that says the product name and if it's enabled or disabled. The system will start off by default as disabled. If you don't see a control button on the home screen, you can press the configure widgets button in the top left hand corner to add a control button for your nitrogen or your liquid product. After we have the control button on the home screen, we can go into the control and in the top right hand corner we can enable the product. Once we have enabled the product, we can enter a rate or use a prescription to start applying. If you have any questions about this video or how to use your liquid side dress system, please feel free to reach out to your precision planning dealer or precision planning product support. Thank you.